Have you ever wondered where the philosophy of Stoicism originated? Stoicism, a school of Hellenistic philosophy, was founded in the early 3rd century BC by Zeno of Sidium. Zeno, a merchant-turned-philosopher, was fascinated by the Socratic idea of virtue as the greatest good. From this fascination he developed the core Stoic belief that virtue, based on knowledge and reason, is the sole source of happiness. Influenced by the teachings of Socrates, Heraclitus and the Cynics, Zeno's philosophy emphasized self-control, fortitude and acceptance of one's fate as determined by nature. His teachings attracted a group of dedicated followers, who gathered at the Stoa Poikile or Painted Stoa in Athens. This is how the philosophy got its name, Stoicism from Stoa. His successors including Cleanthes and Chrysippus, built upon and refined his ideas, further shaping Stoicism as we know it. Thus, the seeds of Stoicism were sown, set to grow and evolve with the passing of time. So, what are the principles that define Stoicism? At its core, Stoicism is built on the philosophy of virtue and reason. Virtue, in the Stoic sense, is the highest form of excellence, the ultimate good. It's not about moral righteousness or piety but rather about living in alignment with nature and acting with wisdom, courage, justice and self-control. Then we have reason, which Stoics see as a divine force that governs the universe. They believe that by using reason we can understand the natural laws, make sense of our place in the cosmos, and guide our actions accordingly. Stoicism teaches that we can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we respond and that response should always be guided by reason and virtue. These principles serve as the bedrock of Stoic philosophy, guiding its followers towards a life of virtue and reason. But how did Stoicism spread beyond the borders of Greece and who were its proponents? Well, Stoicism found a fertile ground for growth in the heart of the Roman Empire. It was here, in Rome, that the philosophy was taken up by influential thinkers such as Epictetus. Born a slave, Epictetus rose to become a respected philosopher, embodying the Stoic ideal that virtue and wisdom are not determined by one's external circumstances, but by one's inner character. His teachings emphasize the importance of accepting things beyond our control and focusing on how we respond to them, a core principle of Stoicism that resonated deeply within Roman society. But Stoicism wasn't just a philosophy for the scholars, it was also embraced by those in power. Perhaps the most famous Stoic of all was the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Known as the Philosopher King, Marcus Aurelius applied Stoic principles to his rule. He viewed his position not as a privilege but as a duty to serve the common good. His personal writings, known as Meditations, reflect his deep commitment to Stoic principles and offer timeless wisdom on navigating the challenges of life with grace and composure. At the heart of Stoicism is the concept of cosmic citizenship. The Stoics believed that we are all part of a larger whole, a universal community, and thus our actions should reflect this interconnectedness. They advocated for a life lived in harmony with nature and the universe, a principle that continues to resonate today. Finally we come to the four Stoic virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. These are the moral compass of Stoicism, guiding individuals towards a virtuous life. Wisdom is the understanding of what is good, bad, and indifferent. Courage is not just physical bravery but also the resilience to endure adversity. Justice involves treating others fairly and fulfilling our duties to society. Self-control is the mastery over our desires and emotions, enabling us to act in accordance with reason. Stoicism thus, not only crossed geographical boundaries but also permeated various layers of society, including the highest echelons of power. So, where does Stoicism stand in the modern world? In our fast-paced, technology-driven age, one might wonder how an ancient philosophy like Stoicism could remain relevant, but the truth is, the core principles of Stoicism offer timeless wisdom that can help us navigate the complexities of contemporary life. Consider the field of psychology for example. Cognitive behavioral therapy, a widely used form of psychotherapy, is grounded in Stoic philosophy. It encourages us to challenge our automatic thoughts and to understand that our reactions to events, rather than the events themselves, shape our emotions and behavior. This is an echo of the Stoic principle of focusing on what is within our control and accepting what is not. Stoicism also finds its place in the realm of business ethics. The Stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice and self-control are essential qualities for ethical leadership. 
In a business world often criticized for short-termism and unethical practices, Stoic philosophy provides a framework for leaders to make decisions that are not only profitable, but also ethical and sustainable. Personal development is another area where Stoicism has much to offer. The Stoic practice of self-reflection can help us become more aware of our thoughts and actions, fostering personal growth. The Stoic emphasis on virtue and character rather than external success aligns with the modern understanding of authentic happiness and well-being. And speaking of happiness, Stoicism offers a unique perspective on this universal pursuit. Stoics view happiness not as a fleeting emotion but as a state of tranquility that comes from living in accordance with nature and reason. This perspective encourages us to seek contentment in the present moment and to find joy not in external possessions or achievements, but in our own moral and intellectual development. As we can see, the principles of Stoicism continue to resonate, providing guidance even in today's complex world. Whether it's in the therapist's office, the corporate boardroom, or the quiet moments of self-reflection, Stoicism offers valuable insights for living a fulfilling and meaningful life. But has Stoicism faced criticism, and what is its lasting legacy? Stoicism, like any philosophical school, has not been without its critics. Throughout history some have questioned its emphasis on emotional detachment, seeing it as a form of denial or avoidance. Others have pointed out that the stoic principle of accepting things as they are, can lead to complacency or passivity, potentially hindering social progress or personal growth. In the realm of philosophy, the Epicureans for example, argued for the pursuit of physical pleasure and avoidance of pain, a stark contrast to the stoic emphasis on virtue and indifference to external circumstances. Skeptics on the other hand, challenged the Stoic belief in the possibility of attaining absolute knowledge. Despite these criticisms, Stoicism has continued to resonate and influence generations long after the fall of the Roman Empire. Its core principles of virtue, reason and resilience have found a home in various aspects of contemporary society. In the field of psychology, cognitive behavioral therapy, one of the most effective forms of treatment for a range of mental health issues, draws heavily on Stoic ideas. It encourages individuals to challenge their irrational beliefs and to understand that their reactions, rather than external events, determine their emotions. In business and leadership, stoic principles of self-control, integrity and focus on what one can control, have been embraced as keys to effective decision-making and ethical leadership. The writings of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus and Seneca continue to be widely read and quoted in these contexts. In the realm of personal development and self-help, Stoicism offers practical wisdom on managing adversity, maintaining equanimity, and striving for personal excellence. Its teachings on the value of living in accordance with nature and focusing on the present moment have found a new audience in the modern mindfulness movement. Despite the critiques, the lasting legacy of Stoicism is undeniable, reminding us of the power of resilience, virtue, and reason in navigating life's challenges. So, what can we take away from our exploration of Stoicism? We've journeyed from the bustling streets of ancient Athens, where Zeno of Sidium founded Stoicism, to the majestic corridors of power in Rome, where emperors like Marcus Aurelius found solace in this philosophy. We've seen how the principles of Stoicism, virtue, reason, and a deep understanding of one's place in the universe, have resonated across the ages, shaping the course of individual lives and entire societies. From the painted Stoa, Stoicism traveled to Rome, finding a new home in the teachings of Epictetus, and later, in the meditations of Roman emperors. This philosophy's emphasis on wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control, the four Stoic virtues, helped to guide leaders in times of peace and turmoil alike. We've also seen how Stoicism's focus on cosmic citizenship and indifference to external things can foster resilience, equipping us to navigate life's storms with grace and composure. Whether it's the challenges we face in our personal lives or the ethical dilemmas we encounter in business, the wisdom of Stoicism offers a compass to guide us. In our modern era, Stoicism continues to influence fields as diverse as psychology and education. From cognitive behavioral therapy's emphasis on rational thought to the incorporation of Stoic principles in personal development, the fingerprints of this ancient philosophy are all around us. Yet, Stoicism has weathered its share of critiques, some argue that it promotes emotional detachment and passivity, while others point out its potential for misuse in justifying unethical behavior.
Despite these criticisms, the core tenets of Stoicism remain relevant, providing a framework for understanding the world and our place within it. In the end, the legacy of Stoicism is a testament to its enduring power. From ancient Athens to the boardrooms of today, this philosophy continues to shape our understanding of virtue, resilience, and the pursuit of a meaningful life. In the end, Stoicism teaches us that it's not what happens to us that matters, but how we respond. A lesson as valuable today as it was over two millennia ago.